you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners and lots and lots of other DIY projects, start now and subscribe and click that bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Here we go. So if you've been following along my recent DIY projects, you'll see me make this thing. This is just a, a standard kind of wood burning stove, or at least it used to be. So I had said I wasn't going to convert it to waste oil, but I've done it. It's really easy. And um, you know, for outside projects, this is a great little project to do. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is a homemade DIY um, wood burning stove. It's got some glass in it, it's got a handle, the usual stuff. It started life as a little propane bottle. And um, in previous videos, I show how I converted it to do this. Now for burning solid fuel, such as logs and maybe even coal, this thing works really great. It lashes the heat out, there's a ton of heat out of it. So if you need a bit of heat in your shed, you know, this shed is, is very cold in winter. It's probably only about eight degrees here at the moment. And I need to get some heat on the go because it's too cold to work in. Now you can use this on vegetable oil or motor oil, that sort of thing. Okay, and you know, it's, it's still in its stove configuration. All I've done is I've taken the grate out of it, you know, to stop the, the you know, your timber falling down through it. And uh, I'm going to put a different plate in, so I'll show you that now. So this is the plate, it's just a big washer. So it just fits into the stove, it blocks off the, uh, the bottom of the stove where the air intake is, and all it does is it forces all the air to come up through here, through that circle, okay? The idea of that is, I want to force the air to go through this little waste oil burner unit that I've made. It works really well in this sort of thing. It's very small, cheap to make, you know, it's no dearer to make than that disc, you know, so anyway. This is out of another one I made. It fits this size of propane bottle, no problem. Um, so I'm just going to install it now and we get this thing lit. Now that's a tight fit, it's a bit tricky getting in, but it's in and it's flat now. So all the air for combustion goes through this bottom chamber and comes through that little hole in the disc that I showed you. Now this is my little waste oil burner. It's very easy to make. You know, you can make it for very little money. Now, some of my previous videos, I was able to make this with just bean cans, you know, dog food tin and, and a biscuit tin, that sort of thing. And that was just to see if it would work. And then once I, I proved that it would work, I, I made it up out of steel. This is just two mil plate steel, and I've had quite a long time out of this one. So I used one of these propane bottles as the centerpiece, okay? So I emptied it of gas first, then I chopped the bottom off it, I drilled some holes in it, and I did this with it, okay? So the bit with all the holes in that you're looking at now was one of these, okay? The bottom bit, the side piece, was just a piece of flat steel. You know, I cut it three inches wide and I made a circle out of it. The bottom bit then was just a bit of plate. So this is very easy to make and I've shown how to make it in lots of my other videos. So here we go, I'm going to install it now. So this is it, we've put one disc plate in it and we're going to put this in it now. That's it, took all of two seconds to get it in there. So if I put oil in there, give it a bit of kerosene to get the chamber red hot first, the more oil that goes into it, it vaporizes, and that vapor then can then burn. That's, that's the principle behind it. So I've got it out of here in used motor oil in this little container. That's just a milk carton, you know. Um, I put a tank connector into it, a bit of half inch pipe, half inch gate valve, piece of half inch pipe down into the system. Now. This stove is going back to its original owner. Um, he's going to come and collect it, I think, tomorrow. So this is the last chance I get to kind of convert something easily to oil. This took all of a few minutes to kind of do the conversion because I've already made up the, the waste oil system. So literally, I just tacked on a couple of pieces of angle iron so that I could kind of hold this in the air and make a little drip feed system. This could be anything you want. It could be a big tank, it could be a small tank, and it, could, it should really be remote away from this, but I, I wanted this portable. So here we go. So kerosene is less flammable than gasoline. I wouldn't dream of using what we call petrol or gasoline in this sort of thing. I just wouldn't do it. Also, if the stove is hot and you put kerosene in, it vaporizes and then it, you know, you could end up with a bit of an explosion. Not good either. So into a cold stove, no problem. Okay, turbo torch is great for getting this thing to move. Okay, I just gotta like that. Okay, so that's the kerosene in there lighting now. I haven't introduced oil yet. So I'm just going to introduce some waste oil. Okay, that's gone down into the chamber now. 
Now the reason smoke isn't coming out of this is because I have 4 meters of flue. All the air for combustion wants to go through this chamber and up the chimney. Now I can see the oil dripping into it. Okay, so nothing major, nothing to be afraid of at the moment, but it does get dangerous. Okay, this is just a car brake disc. I put this on top because it, it changes the, uh, the pattern of the flame. The flame has to leak the bottom of this thing. And what happens then is this glows red and then helps vaporize more fuel going in more easily. Okay, so I'm just going to drop that in the back. Now the only problem with this configuration is the flame can actually leak the glass. And if it leaks the glass, it will make it'll blacken it, it'll make it black. This is stove axe or stove glass and capable of, of taking that. But uh, lots of people ask me what glass I use in it, and that's all it is. It's about like $20, $25 worth of glass. So can you hear the roar when I do that? Now this is all just pushed in temporary. I'll do that again. But if I open it, it's getting air through this door and up the chimney. If I close it, it has to get the air through here and through my little burner. There you go. Now what happens to this now is because it's getting cool oil going in, it helps kind of cool the, the temperature of the burner unit. But we need the burner unit red hot to vaporize it. So that's why I use kerosene. So sometimes it needs a second squirt of kerosene just to improve things. So there you have it, another waste oil burner. I had this working kind of uncontrolled before. I put oil, waste oil, in a tray and just shoved it into the bottom door, lit it, boom. And it worked great, but uh, not controllable. So at the moment we have it controllable. You know, we introduce the fuel down through this metering valve and then down into it. And that's it, and you can see it. It's been going probably for about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes now at the moment. It used about this much oil. So in its current configuration, it's burning about one of these an hour. That's two liters per hour, about half a US gallon, something like that. Okay, great heat out of it. I could make it go red hot if I want, but you know, obviously I don't want to burn the fuel and stuff. So now we're heading into, you know, we're in autumn now, heading into winter. It's getting cold. It's probably about, you know, 40 degrees, 40 something degrees Fahrenheit uh, here at the moment, maybe eight degrees, six or seven degrees, whatever, C. Um, but great heat out of this. It'll tip along at that all day, no problem. So it blackens the glass because the flame is actually licking the glass. Um, I could organise it so that it doesn't you know, touch the glass, but this stove isn't staying. It's on its way maybe today or tomorrow. Now because the stove was still here, um, I decided I'd convert it to run on waste oil. Now I have to put it back so I can run it on solid fuel, and that's no problem. I just have to take all this business out of it. Angle grinder in a couple of minutes and it'll be undone. But uh, very easy to do, throws out a lot of heat, just ticks over like this all day, no problem, radiating heat. Um, on very little oil. Two litres an hour to heat the space is really good. So I'll leave it there for now. I said I wasn't going to do it. I did convert it to run on waste oil. You can see it. There's very little in it. Very easy to do. So if you liked the video, thumbs up and subscribe down here if you haven't been here before. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Good luck.